Hello, this is Allie. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the embedded spell checker feature of SpiceLogic.net Win HTML Editor Control. This editor has embedded N Hunt Spell and Net Spell spell checker engines. Therefore, you can use either OpenOffice Dictionary or N Hunt Spell Net Spell supported dictionary files. But if you're simply wanting to use the English dictionary for the spell checker, then you don't need to configure anything. The English dictionary for both NetSpell and nHuntSpell is already embedded into this editor, so without any configuration, this editor uses the U.S. English dictionary. The editor supports both inline spell checker and dialogue based spell checker. In order to set the curly underline for misspelled words, you need to set the property curly underline image file path with a path of an image file for the curly underline. We've already provided a GIF file for the curly underline that you will find in the download package. So set that path and your misspelled words will be decorated with a curly underline. By default, the misspelled words are shown as red underline words, which is controlled by a CSS that can be changed as well. I've shown you how to set the path to the curly underline image file from Design Time Property Editor, but you may have noticed that the property editor stored the path as an absolute file path. You probably don't want to use any absolute path for your distributable application. Therefore, the practical way of setting this property would be to set it in runtime. Make sure that the image is added to your project and its build action content and copy always is set. If you do that, then the image file will be published in the bin folder, the same place where your application's exe file is published. Now in your forms load event handler, set the property as shown here. Okay, so far I've demonstrated the NetSpell spell checker engine, which is the default engine. Let's show you how to set up the dictionary file path for NetSpell if you want to use a different language other than US English. If you're using NetSpell, then you do not need to set the affix file path. Here is the design time way of setting the dictionary. But notice that the design time property editor uses absolute path for the dictionary file, which you may not want for your distributable application. Therefore, you should set the dictionary file path in run time so that the path should resolve dynamically. Same as the curly underline image. You should add the dictionary file path to your project and set the build type as content and copy always so that the dictionary file is published in the bin folder along with your application assembly. Now on your forms load event handler, set the property as shown here. Now let's show you how to enable user dictionary. If a word is not found in the dictionary file, and if you want to allow your user to add that to the dictionary, then you need to set the path of your user dictionary. You just need to set the file path with the DIC extension, and the editor will create the file for you if you already do not have a user dictionary file. Same as the dictionary file path matter, you probably do not want to set that from Design Time Property Editor and rather, you should set that in runtime so that the path is resolved dynamically. Please note, user dictionary will be written by the editor, so you should place this dictionary in a folder where the program will have the right permission. Now, let's show you how to use nHunt spell spell checker. You'll see a property that determines which spell checker engine is used. I changed that to nHunt spell. In order to use nHunt spell spell checker, you just need to add two or more DLL files to your project and set them to get copied always in the bin folder. You'll find these DLL files in the download package. As I said earlier, if you're using US English Dictionary, then you don't need to set any dictionary file path. That is true for nHuntSpell too. The US Dictionary for nHuntSpell is already embedded. You just set the spell checker engine to be nHuntSpell and copy the DLL files to the bin folder, then you're ready to go. If you want to use a different language other than US English, then you need to set the dictionary file path and affix file path. In the download package, you'll find some dictionary files for French language. 
Same as NatSpell, you can set the dictionary and a fixed file path directly from Design Time Property Editor, but you probably don't want to set them like that in your distributable application because Design Time Property Editor will use the absolute file path. You may be aware that the N. Huntsville Spell Checker engine uses Open Office dictionaries. Therefore, you can use any Open Office dictionary in this editor when you're using the N. Huntsville engine. You might be wondering how to get the Open Office DIC and affix files. Well, you can download the dictionary for your preferred language from this link extensions.openoffice.org. Select Dictionaries from the menu. Then, download the dictionary, which is actually an OXT file. Rename the OXT file to zip file and unzip the file. In that unzipped folder, you'll find a folder that is named by the language code. For example, if the language code is Deframey, you'll see a folder named Deframey. In that folder, you'll find a DIC file and an AFF file. These two DIC and AFF files are needed on the Spell Checker Dictionary object. And finally, I'll show you how to hook up any other spell checker engine to this editor. As you've seen that the spell checker property has an enum type value custom, we offer an interface that you can implement to use your third party spell checker engine. The name of the interface is iSpell Checker Engine. Please check the sample project in the download package and you'll see a ready example project for custom spell checker. We've provided a sample implementation of the interface iSpellChecker engine so that you'll understand how to change that to host your own spell checker. In our demo custom implementation, we programmed it so that if a word starts with A, then it is a wrong spelled word. In that case, provide two suggestions. Once you created your class implementing the interface, you should set the property Custom Spell Checker Engine with an instance of your custom implementation class. And of course, remember to set the Spell Checker Engine to Custom. Okay, now let's run the application and see logic in action. For any questions, please contact us at our official website, www.spicelogic.com, or email us at support at spicelogic.com.